Uh, this one goes out pretty uh, well, and uh, all the people came out tonight. Thank you. That's why I'm single. Okay, comedy. So, my friend's been telling me he's been uh, feeling a bit down lately, right? I had to tell him, I was like, you know, it's got you in such a bad mood that how? And he's like, well, you see, it's my brother. He had a plan to uh, have intercourse with a very beautiful, beautiful woman who was uh, very interested in cosplay, right? Now, I don't know what cosplay is, but uh, he tells me, he's like, she admitted that apparently she had sex with someone who looked exactly like him, right? And he's like, man, I'm such a bummer. And I responded, I was like, man, that's rough. I can't imagine what he's going through. And then he's like, yeah. But hey, the other day, some woman, a French maid outfit, came to the front door and told me she'd clean the house for uh, one sweet deal. Now, I know you're not supposed to open the door for strangers, but uh, she really cleaned up my act, if you know what I mean. I've been into uh, superpower jokes lately. I like writing uh, in the realm of superpower jokes. Try to make a joke about uh, teleportation, but man, it was everywhere. I even try to <laughs> I try to make a joke about uh, invisibility, and I really try to focus, but it just wasn't there. I went as far as uh, trying to make a superpower joke about having the ability to uh, freeze organic objects with ice, and then I remembered, I was like, oh wait, my exes have been doing that for years. Ah, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun. <laughs> One time I was sleeping and I heard a noise. I didn't pay much attention to it. And then I heard the noise again, and I was like, nope. I heard the noise one more time. And I was like, you know what, screw it. And then I woke up, and my girlfriend's right by my bedside, and I was like, babe, is everything okay? And she's like, go back to bed. You're dreaming. And that's what I did, I went back to bed, and when I woke up, uh, she turns out she was right. I didn't have a girlfriend. As a comic, you have to be uh, very careful sometimes with uh, what you write, because uh, if you poke fun at a certain group of people, uh, you can set them off. So I was gonna make some jokes about homeless people, but they're not allowed indoors. So I left them outside. The person confronted me after a show one time was like, that joke was very distasteful and offensive to homeless people. I told them with all due respect, open mic comics and homeless people have two very important things in comic. We're both paid the same for our services. We both make great choices in life. <laughs> My roommate, uh, he likes to announce he's going to the bathroom uh, because after he works out, he's very audible about it, you know? And one time in this particular instance, he wasn't making a sound through our paper thin walls, you know? And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, you just hear metal dropping to the ground. And I was like, what the heck is going on, right? I go to the door. I, you know, I yell, I'm like, hey, did you break something in there? And he's like, well, the uh, towel rack came off. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, it just came off. I was like, what do you mean it just came off? It was screwed, glued, and forced inside the wall. How did it come off? Were you leaning up against it? Were you taking pictures of your small member for the web? What's going on, right? And then, uh, you know, uh, I, I tell him that, and then he opens the door and just smiles. And then he proceeds to just look at me with like lifeless eyes. And, uh, he passed me on the shoulder and just says, or he didn't say anything, just does that. And then he walks away, so that left me with two problems. Uh, how am I gonna go ahead and fix this nutcase's mistake uh, for breaking the towel rack? And also speaking of nuts, I have to figure out what his uh, sexual side hustles on the, on the side to pay for this towel rack. Anyway, you guys, my name is Zach, so you guys take it easy. For those of you wondering, the last struggle is based off a true story. I don't know what he did.